Hello everyone and welcome to Awaken Conqueror. Today's video is going to touch on how I personally identify the behavioral patterns and the three cycles of the female covert narcissist. So this video is stemming from a question that I received from a previous video wanting to know how I came to the knowledge that I was involved with a covert narcissist. So first things first, great question. One of the reasons I started this channel and I want to put this small caveat. Now, guys, one of the differences between male victims and female victims of covert narcissists is that the male victims will take a substantially longer time in identifying the female covert narcissist simply because of societal norms. So many of the red flags that you'll spot will be brushed off as normal female behavior. Now, the way that you differentiate a female covert narcissist from a normal woman that is emotionally sound is that the female covert narcissist the things that she's going to do to you are designed to break you down. And what I mean by that is break you down financially, break you down emotionally, break you down in your confidence. In every single way, the female covert narcissist, her outbursts are designed to hurt and when I mean hurt, I mean hurt seriously. Lose your job, lose respect from peers, lose respect from family members, right? So I want you guys to keep this in focus as I go into describing some of the examples on how I identified that my, my ex was a female covert narcissist. So what the first phase, obviously, is the love bombing phase. And when you're in this phase, many of you who, who were victims or who are still victims, if you can think back, this was a great phase. This was a phase where sex was awesome. Uh, your confidence was an, at an all-time high. Uh, the narcissist had you floating on air, you know. Uh, my ex-female covert narcissist bought me flowers. First time a woman had ever bought me flowers. Uh, the way she spoke to me, the way that she hung on every single word, it was like I was a god to her. Um, you know, she sent me flowers. You know, we would go on long trips, just the two of us. You know, it was almost hanging like hanging with the best friend. Um, you know, everything I liked, she liked. Guys, that's a huge red flag. No one should like exactly what you like. That's just weird. Um, and, and, and many of the times when you're in a love bombing phase, the female covert narcissist will love everything you love. Um, you know, so these were some of the signs that I personally saw during the love bombing phase. Um, never wanting to be away from me, you know, because of the, 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 the sensuality and the attraction level. Um, you know, and, and, and guys, I want to touch back on the sex because this is one of the female covert narcissist's favorite weapons. The sex, the sex is going to be whatever you want it to be. Whatever you fantasized about doing is what the narcissist will do for you. And they're going to tell you that you're the only person. The, you're, the treatment, uh, the, the way they're going to talk about you with their friends, phenomenal. This, this will all change, though, uh, once you get into the devalue phase. And I'll go ahead and go into that now. So during the devalue phase, what I saw during my uh, experience was a complete lack of respect. You know, very backhanded compliments. Uh, she would, we would be out at a restaurant. She would be flirting with waiters. Any waiter, the, the waiter didn't have to be physically attractive. Didn't have to have anything about them. Just. The, the, the point of the sheer attention, flirting with my friends, flirting with co-workers, but not flirting in a blatant sense, but very, very, very under the nose, you know, to where you have to raise an eyebrow, but you can't you can't quite jump to it. 
right? And this is this is what makes the female covert narcissist so dangerous. Um, you know, things that she used to love about you during the lovemaking uh, or love bombing phase, she can't stand anymore. She can't stand everything you do is ridiculed, and everything you say is is wrong or mean or you're not doing enough. So during the devalue phase, um, what they will do is basically step on your toes anytime they they they, they get a chance. You know, uh, I remember once I made my female covert narcissist breakfast in bed. I brought her pancakes, eggs. I brought her the 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 the, 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 the you know the tray. And she complained. What? What is this? This is too sweet, and it's way too early for this. Give me that. Go get. Go get some 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 uh, tea. Give me some tea. You just woke me up. This this is the type of behavior that you'll get during the devalue. I mean, complete disrespect. Um, what you'll also start to notice is that you'll be you'll be slighted by the family. So whereas. In the lovemaking phase, they loved and adored you. The, now the family will start to look at you in 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 a in a treacherous way, kind of. Hmm, I I really don't like this guy. And this is because during the devalue stage, what the female covert narcissist will do is she'll go around talking bad about you. She'll 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 talk bad about you to your own family members. She'll talk bad about you to her family members. She'll talk bad about you to your best friends. My female covert narcissist, my ex, she used to call my my best guy friends behind my back and and say all types of trash about me. I only found this out months later. And needless to say, many of many of these 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 guys that that I called friends back then, they're not my friends anymore. Um, so you know, these are some of the things that you guys need to pay attention to with the female covert narcissist. And how she's able to get to that stage is because she's going to play victim. Victim. Right? And on, on the front side, she's going to be extremely charming, extremely sweet, extremely nice to everyone. And in, in any atmosphere that, that she's in with you. And then she does the dirty work behind. So this card, the discard usually came abruptly. The discard for the female narcissist will come when you challenge her motives or you call her to take responsibility for an action that was bad. They don't want to hear it. So... For example, my ex-female covert narcissist would do things like if if I made a complaint um, that she had. So there was one time where she stole some money from me or she she lied about about a payment and, and actually kept the money that I gave her to pay for something for herself. And when I confronted her about it, she she blew up uh, what I like to call the smoke screen. So anytime they blow up, it's because they're lying uh, in a female covert narcissist. I'm talking about female covert narcissist, NPD. So whenever you confront them, they explode and then they're gone. So normally, whenever I would confront her about serious issues, I would be discarded and left for about a week, three days. Three days was the norm. Three days, no contact, no talking, no nothing, no, no nothing. Just gone. So a person that was clinging to you during the love make love bombing phase completely just splits and is gone. Now, normally after they discard you, they will they'll let you go on a limb for about three a week and then come back. This is if your primary source and I'll make a video about this later and then they come back. Now, when they come back. No accountability, no, no consolidation about what happened, why she left, nothing. Just come back like nothing happened. So this is where I saw that there was something wrong with this relationship. And then I went into, uh, you know, my search 
and 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 trying to find out exactly what the hell was going on with this woman. So uh, these were m- some of my examples as to how I came to identify the cycle. And then, you know, all three of these phases, the love bombing, the, the, the devalue, the discard, they just repeat themselves if you're primary source. And so a lot of guys can be involved with the female covert narcissist for years and not realize what they are because of societal norms. Guys, if you are involved or think you're involved with a female covert narcissist, and more than likely, you know you are because you're on my channel, get out of there and do not seek advice from peers, family members, or anyone that is not familiar with this disorder. Because in the end, if they are not aware of these these things, you're going to look like the person that's crazy. Guys, like and subscribe. Uh, let me know if there were any there, there were any uh, details or share your experiences with me. Let me know if there's anything that you, you feel that I may have left out or didn't touch on. Or if you just want to share your experience, I'm trying to create a network where we can all share and recover and uh, bond together where, you know, if you need any information to get yourself out that relationship and protect yourself, uh, you, know, you can do that. So, guys, like and subscribe. And remember, you're more than conquerors.